So apologies, this is a very short video. Um, we've just had half term and uh, my wife's been off for the week. Both our sons have been at home. Um, so there's been very little time for modeling. We've done lots of family stuff instead. Uh, but I did want to show the, the one thing I'd managed to achieve, which was to have another look at the cab for the Dapol um, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Pug. Um, if you remember from previous videos, I'm going to, my plan is to get the high level chassis kit and remotor the motor the remotor the body um, and then make it a really weathered dirty example to hide the damage I did to the cab. Um, so although I don't have the kit yet I've gone ahead and actually done the first thing that's in the instructions. So as well as taking off all the paint um, and the, the super glue, I did the super glue on this side last time, I've now done the super glue on this side so that's nice and smooth. As I say it looks a bit funny still um, but when I run my finger over it it's much, it's much better so I think with a layer of paint over that that'll be fine. Still not quite sure whether I'm going to rip off all the transfers or just kind of paint over it and make it really muddy looking and uh, and hide the fact that the transfers are missing um, around where I've had to take off the, the super glue. Uh, but the thing you'll be able to see um, is that I have now two clear side windows. Um, this one previously, which one was it? Uh, da, 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 da. I have seen it. Yeah, this one originally was blocked in. Um, on the on the original Dapol model, but the instructions suggest that unless you really wanted it blocked in or your prototype had, then the first thing to do is to cut it away. So I've cut that away. You can kind of see on the inside. I've tried to get as much off on the bottom of the window on the side where I can get in. The top of the window it's still much thicker up here, but I can't easily get a file in nice and easy up there, and I don't want to risk damage doing too much damage. So I've kind of left that for now, but when you're looking at it from kind of rail height or looking down on it, you're not going to see up into the top of that window. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's more, I think I wanted to make sure that this cab side here uh, didn't look too thick. So I think that looks pretty good compared to uh, that on the other side where there wasn't uh, the blanking the blanking plate. Um, so yeah, so the um, the other thing I've done is I've filed the insides here where the handrails were. There was lots of wire protruding into the cab. Again, the instructions, they're available online, so even though I haven't got the kit yet, um, say that you have to obviously uh, kind of file these smooth because there's um, bunkers and, and things that attach on the inside of here, so you have to get rid of the wires. So we have actually done basically the first the first step of the instructions, uh, nearly, um, in that we've, we've prepared the cab cab part for um, later later editions and parts so progress without the kit um, so yeah so apologies it's a it's a short video this week uh, but I wanted to try and keep up the one video a week um, on a Monday and this was the only thing I managed to achieve so uh, yeah there we go thanks for watching and hopefully next week there'll be some more significant pr uh, progress on a kit or another I don't know what yet I have no idea what I'm going to achieve uh, in the rest of the week we shall we shall have to see thanks